If I had a dollar for every time I heard someone say young people's problems could be solved by giving up their fancy Starbucks coffee, I would have, well, enough to at least fund my own coffee habit. It's become really cliche, and I'm sure you're as tired of hearing this all the time as me. Still, after reading David Bach's The Automatic Millionaire, I'm forced to admit that there may be a kernel, or a coffee bean, of truth to that advice, but not for the reason you're expecting. Welcome to the Financial Vault. In this video, you'll learn the top 5 takeaways from The Automatic Millionaire by David Bach. Lesson 1. You have enough to start right now. If you're struggling to find and stick to a solid investment strategy, chances are that one of the common excuses you tell yourself is that you just don't make enough money to invest and become wealthy. Rent is constantly increasing, inflation is hitting your grocery cart hard, and unexpected expenses are always a real pain in your savings account. All of those things are true, but so is this. If you keep telling yourself you don't have enough to invest, you never will. Because how much you earn has virtually no impact on your ability to build wealth. Yes, you heard that right. Seriously, think about yourself 10 years ago. You were probably making a lot less than you are now. You were probably telling yourself that when you made more, you'd start investing and saving. Did it happen? Nope. Why? Because humans are just bad at budgeting. As our pay increases, so does our spending. And suddenly, what was once our dream salary is now barely enough to get by. But here's the secret to starting now. No matter what your paycheck is, all it takes is $5 a day to become a millionaire by the time you retire. You don't need hundreds of extra dollars a month. You just need to redistribute a tiny amount of money you spend on unnecessary things. Lesson 2. The Latte Factor This is where what Bach calls the Latte Factor comes into play. In the simplest terms, the latte factor just means that if you take the $5 a day you spend on coffee and invest it instead, you can become rich. The origin of the latte factor goes like this. A woman listening to David Bach speak about building wealth complained that she couldn't invest because she had no money left over after she paid her bills. Bach challenged her to think about all her spending during the day and discovered that she had spent about $10 on coffee and snacks before lunchtime. He showed her that if she invested just half of that amount with a 10% yearly return, she would have $1.2 million saved when she retired. Not everyone drinks coffee, but we all spend money on unnecessary things. Don't believe me? Then do what David Bach suggests and keep a spending log for a week. Write down everything you spend money on, regardless of how you pay, even if it's just a few cents. Then look over your spending and add up all the things that aren't necessary. Chances are you easily spend $5 or more daily on stuff you just don't really need. Coffee, cigarettes, bottled water, takeout food, streaming services. You get the picture. Once you find the places you can save money for investing, the excuses dry up and you can get to work. Lesson 3. Make it automatic and pay yourself first. In a perfect world, we would all be responsible enough to stick to our budget and invest what is left over. Newsflash, most humans just aren't wired that way. That's why one of the most important components of becoming an automatic millionaire is to, well, make your investments automatic. You should pay yourself first every month. That means automating your savings and investments so the amount you set goes to building your wealth first. Setting up any retirement funds your employer offers is a good place to start. The amount you decide to invest each month will be deposited automatically into that fund before it even hits your bank account. Investing at least as much as your employer will match is always a good idea if that's an option. You can automate other investments too. It's really just as simple as spending an hour setting up all the automatic deposits and withdrawals you need, and then you're done forever. Okay, if not forever, then at least for a while. You can review your automatic systems each year to increase your investments as your earnings grow. Automatic payments are also great for building an emergency fund so that when a rainy day hits, you don't have to break your investing stride and can keep your financial future on track. What if you don't want to invest in a traditional retirement fund or the stock market? You can use that latte money to pay down debt faster which can often get you as big a return as the other investments since you're skipping months or years of interest accumulating. 
or invest in yourself by funding a side hustle or paying for education. Lesson 4. Become a homeowner and automate that too. Over their lives, renters usually pay far more to other homeowners than they would have paid to buy their own house. David Bach says you should plan to buy a home as soon as possible. The younger you buy, the sooner you'll have your mortgage paid off, allowing you to comfortably retire. Bach says you should get a traditional 30-year mortgage, but pay it bi-weekly using, you guessed it, an automatic withdrawal. So instead of making a single monthly payment, you'll split it in half and pay every two weeks. Here's why. There are 52 weeks in the year. You'll be making half payments 26 weeks a year, which amounts to 13 monthly payments in all. For every 12 years you do this, it's like getting an extra year's worth of payments completed. That means you'll pay off your 30-year mortgage at least three years sooner than you would paying once a month. On a $250,000 loan with a 5% interest rate, you'll save more than $44,000 in interest. You can use those savings to invest, pay for your kid's college tuition, turn it into coins, and fill a swimming pool. Whatever you want. Lesson 5. Time is or isn't on your side, so stop waiting. The key to maximizing your wealth using any of the automatic techniques Bach talks about is starting as soon as possible. Why? Because time is one of the most critical variables in the wealth building equation. Let's see it in real life. Three people invest $3,000 a year and average a 10% return. Investor 1 invests only from age 15 to 19 for a total of $15,000 over 5 years, then stops and just lets the money grow. Investor 2 invests from age 19 to 27 for a total of $24,000 over 8 years before stopping. Investor 3 invests from age 27 to 65 for a total of $117,000 over 39 years. Which investor will have the most money saved when they retire at age 65? You probably guessed Investor 3 since they invested the most money in total. But the correct answer is actually Investor 1. That's right, the person who invested the least but at a young age would end up with $1.6 million by age 65. Investor 2 would have $1.5 million and Investor 3 would just have $1.3 million. The sooner you start investing, the longer your money will have to grow. If you want to be a millionaire without thinking about it, ditch the mindset that your income has to increase before you start investing. Automate your savings and investments so that you pay yourself first. Buy a home as soon as possible and pay off your mortgage years early by making bi-weekly payments. And harness the power of time by investing, like today. Now here's one more thing which the author didn't mention, but I will. Saving more is great and all, but often it can be much easier to earn an extra $1,000 a month than to figure out how to cut another $500 off your expenses. That's where adding a semi-passive income stream can help. Click the link in the pinned comment to learn more.